Hey friends, Audra, hey girl. How are you today? Eeh, I'm trying to plug my mic in, so you know me. Prepared, hostess with the mostess. <laughs> How is everyone doing? My mom's in the chat, look at her. <laughs> And hey, Audra, I'm just gonna give it a minute. I'm guessing people are probably pretty busy. It's not telling me, oh, there we go, it jumped. Okay, there's seven of you, that's exciting. I was like, ah! <laughs> I was literally talking to Emily Hanhead last night and I was like, yeah, I just wanna have a, a something to talk about so that in case nobody shows up to my live, I'm not just sitting there like, me, 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 me. <laughs> Hey guys, hi Jinxbox, we've got Glitter Kitten, Lucy, hey Lucy, Makeup with Michelle, Maria's here, Rosie Post, I love that, oh lordy, hey mom, Nemesis, right, I said that right hopefully, Ruthie, hey girl, hey, hey guys. You guys are all so sweet. How's everybody doing? How is everyone Saturday? I think it's going to be a nice day here today. So that's exciting. Um, hey, Abby. Hey, Leah. Um, I've just had a very interesting um, week, I would say. I think most of us have. Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. I did manage to get Divine Rose too. Um, Lucy saying good morning, Ruthie saying hi to Audra. Um, did you guys manage to get Divine Rose too? Was anybody waiting for it? I thought it went pretty smooth. I think she had done a good job. It has been a tough week. I want to talk about that in a second as well. Um, I think the website was pretty well equipped. I, of course, knew Pat McGrath generally launches around... 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, so it's uh, 9 Eastern, and so I was awake, but I know some people missed it, so it's just makeup, though, you know, just woo side away, and um, you can get it on the next one, so don't, don't, uh, some, <laughs> um, don't uh, be too upset about missing a makeup launch, especially right now when there's much, much more um, things going on in the world. Hopefully, um, what was I saying? I get so sidetracked. I love how that Kaleidos package looks. I just put it up there. Um, you won't be able to see it in my videos because um, I'm much more zoomed in when I film YouTube videos, but that kind of turned out really cool. If you guys haven't seen um, the new Kaleidos launch, it's coming out in June. I think they're trying to um, target like mid-June. I was actually talking to uh, I, I don't know if it's the owner that runs their Instagram account, but all of a sudden my brain kicked in and I was like, Hey, everyone's curious about the prices. Um, so they did say to me, the prices will be 42 for the palette, 18 for the blushes, 14 for highlighters, $10 for eye primer, $6 for one sponge and 10 for two. In case any of you are wondering about that, I just wanted to mention, um, cause I don't think they had released the prices and it didn't come with the package, so I had no idea. I've worn um, the eyeshadow palette and the one of the blush palettes and the primer twice um, during the week. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I had um, two looks, so I feel like I've tested it and I'm gonna film with it uh, probably either today or tomorrow. You guys know I usually film on the weekends, so. I'll get a like a review or like a first ish impressions. I mean, I feel like three times is a good amount of time to review something, but you guys let me know. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to like, you know, gloss over things. I know a lot of stuff comes up about reviews versus first impressions. So hopefully you guys understand like from, I don't know why I've been thinking about it a lot and like, do people like hate that I do first impressions? But the thing is for me, it's like YouTube's my hobby. So I do try to do 
videos that people kind of are looking for. And so I tend to do first impressions if it's a if it's a newer palette. And I try to get that up as soon as I can. I'm just telling you guys my process. I don't know why I'm going into this right now. But typically, if you want me to see, if you want to see me using palettes multiple times after I've done the first impression, you definitely will find that on Instagram. Because I typically wear makeup every day to work. It's just like, something I do in the morning. It's like my me time. And I really love um, doing a full face of makeup for work. And that's kind of like my testing time. And then when I do my rankings at the end of the month, um, that's kind of a review, like roundup type deal. So hopefully that all makes sense. Okay, let me go back to the comments. Sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I set my alarm. Yeah, that you know what? Dedication is key. <laughs> Morning, uh, Banshee Muse. I got it with the pink packaging. Me too. I was actually contemplating, like, do I want the pink packaging? Because all of my palettes are the black packaging. So I'm like, it's going to be kind of strange to have one pink one. But I was like, whatever. It's not a big deal. And um, I saw people are like going to sell their original Divine Rose to get like two of the pink. I don't know that. That's a little extreme for me. But, you know, to each their own, I've done crazier things. So <laughs> I was thinking about it. But my wallet is cringing. OK, so here's the thing. Um, and I don't you know, this is like a personal decision for you guys. I use I think Pat McGrath has a firm and that just helps me kind of like bite the bullet. I don't, it doesn't, like, it It hurts a little less on your wallet when you split up the payments. Now, I'm not trying to tell anyone to do what to do, but I'm just telling you guys what I do. If it's a Pat McGrath palette, I'm, like, happy that they have that service because then I feel a little bit better about spending that kind of money if it's broken down into chunks. So, anyway, <laughs> I just got it. The website wasn't working twice, but on the third attempt, yay, that's exciting. I can't wait to get my pink duo palette. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, they are so pretty. Good for you. Audra at home during your live the other night. I hadn't yet heard about Minneapolis only center of park. So I'm sorry. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, you know, I have just had the hardest time like talking about it just because I don't want to hurt like anyone's feelings. It's such a tragic situation and it's, it's just terrible. Like, I don't even know how to really talk about it. Um, and I don't really think that my beauty channel is the place to do it. So it's really hard. Like, I, yeah, I just, I don't, I'm, I want to post accurate stuff. And I don't want to, like, you know, comment on things that I don't have the full information on. But I feel like I watched this video that somebody had shared and it was Trevor Noah. Um, kind of talking about the situation right now and, um, you know, seeing Minneapolis like in disarray is hard because um, it's actually four hours from where I live. So Minnesota is our neighboring state and it's so hard to see them go through something like this. It's a very diverse um, population compared to North Dakota. Um, and I just, I just can't imagine, like I've seen people like um just weeping on their instagram accounts because they're scared and um it's just it's so hard like i i don't know what the right thing to say is i just think that um being informed is important um and just trying to get educated on things and so yeah trevor noah i just posted it it was very interesting his perspective i thought made sense to me and if you guys have seen it and there's something that like maybe needs to be corrected let me know because i don't know everything either but he kind of said like when we are part of society we sign a contract that we are going to be um law-abiding citizens this that, and the other and i thought that was really good because that's what most people do and then when something like this happens against somebody that's a part of your race um, you feel like that contract is broken and I, it's, it's so scary because you're not being protected. And I thought that was a really good explanation. And from like my perspective, I'm trying to, I like think of it as like, if it was happening to me or like a loved one or, you know, like a part of somebody that's part of a community, of course I'd want, like, I'd be like, of course this would happen. It's, 
it's so horrible. Like it's just all around horrible. So I'm here for you guys. If there's anything I can do, um, I, yeah, I, I just, I don't want to really like go into it, but it's just, I know that everyone's hurting and especially, you know, African Americans and black people everywhere. And it's just, I, I can't, I, I don't, I really don't know what the right thing to say is. So, um, I just know that I'm thinking about it and yeah, hopefully I'm, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. That's so true. And I saw a post my friend shared and I thought that was really a good one because, um, the way it was explained, it like made sense. It's, it's not about the stuff and like, I don't, you know, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, like why, like two wrongs don't make a right. But I think that people are so upset and that's kind of what, you know, their reaction is. And there, there doesn't need to be an explanation. I think, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if I'm like messing this up. I really don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. My sister lives in Minnesota and has been devastating for them. I'm six hours away in rural. So <laughs> yeah exactly it's yeah yeah i think um it's yeah it's exactly it's i i'd be horrified no matter who this was happening to i think that's the thing it's like whether it was an asian person of african american and unfortunately it's like it's affecting everyone and yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I think for me, like the way Trevor Noah explained it was the most understandable way. And like, I personally want to spend more time learning and educating myself, um, maybe on this kind of thing. It's just something that affects so many people in so many different ways. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Angie. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Angie, my mom, saying hi. Okay, so anyway, if anybody has anything... Oh, here, let me just share some of you guys' thoughts as well. It is tragic that George Floyd... Um, yeah, I mean, everyone has a right to their um, opinions. So I'm just gonna try and re remain as just open to everyone's thoughts. Cause that's all I can, like for me, that's like my main thing about being on YouTube or just a person. I always wanna be accepting of mm, everyone's different opinions. So yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, um, is yeah i'm gonna do a little 180 though and just move on i, I definitely wanted to address it because i don't think it's right for me to just like act like the world's fine um i think there's a lot going on this is one thing um that really i think everyone needs to be talking about talking about with their kids their families like i think the more we talk about it it's gonna help so um, but I'm going to move on because I really don't want this to turn into something where I'm talking that I don't know, you know? So, <laughs> oh, mom, look at you. She like talks about you. Yeah. Let, <laughs> I know. I'm, trying, I'm so sorry. I really hope I'm not messing this up because I really don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Um, that is paramount to me. So here we go. Um, we got the goods. I don't have the new palette. So um, I hope people got that from the title of this video um, because I was like, no, no, I don't have it yet. Um, yeah. Um, we all know you care. It's just so hard. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And me and Andrew were talking about this too um, yesterday. Um, and for me, you just don't want to say the wrong thing. And anyway, 
<laughs> Sorry, Lucy, you're making me laugh. Okay, um, so here are my palettes. Uh, I got like somebody called me out for this the other day. I can't remember what video, but I was showing my Pat McGrath, and they're like, "You stuck stickers on your Pat McGrath palettes," and I was like, "Yeah, like they all look the same. I don't know." So I have the goods. The goods are in my hand. Um, should I go and order? Is there anything you want to see? I'm not as good at like Pat McGrath palettes as um, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia from Kinky Sweats. Um, she knows like all the names. She knows the undertones, the overtones, the combinations. Like I was watching her live yesterday on the playback where she was playing with the new palette because Pat McGrath actually sent it to her. And I was like, you know, I need to, I need to incorporate some of that content into my channel because she, um, I would say, has like a doctorate in Pat McGrath palettes. To be very honest, Angie, did you get the Divine Rose too? <laughs> um, and then um, I did get it. Uh, I saw somebody asked in the asked in the chat if I got it. Um, so who knows? Did you get the rose gold? Yes, I believe so. It's like a pink, isn't it? I don't know um i'm gonna do makeup now so i'll listen oh so sweet glitter kitten <laughs> so let's start off with i don't even i don't even know like one two and three i just wrote like cool tone i wrote number four on this one i'm a mess okay let's play here so um when she originally launched these i actually watched my video from 20 I linked it in the description box. It's so cringe. I sound like such a brat. Um, these came. Uh, that video is two years old of me unboxing my original Pat McGrath palettes, and I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, I should tell people to go watch that video, but it's actually kind of cringy. So like, I'm sorry if you guys, you know, unsubscribe after watching that video. But like, I had ordered the palettes and they were delayed. I think they actually forgot my order. And so I, I emailed them because I was really excited. I just bought these like palettes that cost me a fortune. And um, then all of a sudden they appeared. So um, seems like Pat McGrath's customer service has always been kind of tragic. <laughs> but anyway, so um, yeah, so I'm kind of a brat in that video where I swatched these. <laughs> I do apologize. No, I didn't actually. More people wanted to see Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> and Angie actually, I don't hope you don't mind me saying this. Angie actually has this palette. Um, she has this Pat McGrath palette. I think the thing with um, people that are really into indie makeup is they kind of have really, really good eyeshadows that they, they can't justify purchasing one of these, which totally makes sense. Like it's, I, I was telling Emily Han Han, um, that there, I mean, I love the special shades, but I mean, I buy them cause I'm a collector. Let's be real here. You know what I mean? Like once you have like three, it's like, Oh, let me just keep getting them. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll stop. But, um, does everyone keep their pepper gas? I do. It's yes, I do keep it. Lucy. I have, I don't know if you guys have seen, um, videos I have. It's called like, um, I'm a hoarder. I don't know. It's something to do with like, I go through my makeup packaging. I keep it in a basket, um, in a laundry hamper in my beauty room. And then I like toss it <laughs> every once in a while. But I do the, the Pat McGrath ones always survive. Um, I love kinky sweat. Yeah. She's really cool. How did you get the new, how did you get the new PNG? Do you have PNG, um, stuff? Oh, okay. Sorry. I kind of hope one day Pat will be available in more UK based retailers. Yeah. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, the only packaging I keep. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm pretty sure they should. Yeah. Because um, Pat McGrath is British. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys knew that. But <laughs> I live vicariously through you with all these brands because I don't really experiment with a lot of brands anymore. Yeah, of course. It totally makes sense. I mean, like not everyone wants to spend this much money on eyeshadow. I totally understand. I didn't know that. So, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Selfridges, um, people here even order from Selfridges because they, um, do like free shipping. It's like prime. I only have one so far, but yes. Yep. 
Uh, does anyone else just watch eyeshadow in their bedroom? Yes, exactly. Oh, the other thing, I'm so sorry. I did get the new um, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I did see it's now available on Sephora um, and Nordstrom. So if you didn't want to order directly from Charlotte Tilbury, you can order it from Sephora or Nordstrom. So this is what it looks like. It's massive. Uh, let me just pull out a compact to show you guys a reference. So this is like my Kosas bronzer. Um, and then maybe a lot of you know the Fenty size. So it's humongous. Um, I've only used this twice as well. And it's nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's like to die for, but it's also like, it's got such tough competition right now because I'm like obsessed with the Kosas one. Um, this is definitely like a matte bronzer. <laughs> like I like that it's a refillable compact. I love the packaging. I'm not going to lie. And I got the shade tan, which is number three in case any of you guys were, oh, hey, talk about inception. <laughs> so I just wanted to mention that because um sometimes i forget to tell you guys about like things that aren't eyeshadow like i always talk about eyeshadow and i feel like i always forget about everything else i'm also wearing the tower beauty lip gloss in fearless tower 28 sorry this is so good you guys look at this color there's nothing it's like the lightest berry but it's so comfortable i think like if you want just like one gloss if you're not a gloss person because i didn't used to be a gloss person but those glosses are so 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 comfortable so sorry i'm getting sidetracked there's the only one i keep yeah <laughs> i don't spend so much on mascara <laughs> uh, all the time swatching mixing heavy yeah i love it i need to do that i spend on base products yeah you, everyone has their thing <laughs> yeah, it is big. It's very big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, I've been on the fence. Yeah, I think they're okay. Let me just go back to this one. I think it's a nice bronzer. Is it going to like change your life? I don't think so. Because um, I have mature skin. <laughs> I'm not good at accents. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. People say I have a killer like Indian lady accent though, but <laughs> I heard the Makeup Revolution the bronzers. Are, that's cool. I think I need to just stop with the bronzers. Um, yeah, I won't be needing any bronzers anytime soon. Are there any new bronzers coming out? We should see. <laughs> we should see if there are any bronzers coming out. Um, I don't think so. Oh, no, the Manny palette. I The Manny palette looks pretty. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. When are we expecting uh oh when are we expecting the kaleidos review that is sitting in the back uh this weekend i should have it filmed so sometime next week i'll try and post it um i was talking earlier that i had tried the eyeshadow palette and the blush and the eye primer twice so it'll be my third time trying it when i review it which should be i think a decent um amount of times and i can always talk more about it if i need to make any like important announcements. Hi, Millie. <laughs> me and Millie, let me tell you, since we're talking about Pat McGrath, <laughs> she and I were DMing on Instagram during the launch. It was hilarious. She, I don't know what she even messaged me about or if I messaged her or what it was, but I, it was like eight o'clock and I'm like, it's, she's like, it's not showing. And I'm like, I know what the fuck. <laughs> and then it like, I think I was like refreshing and Millie was refreshing and we both got the palette. So we were really excited. Hi, Andrea. How is it that you have no accent? People ask me this all the time. It's an interesting story. Um, I think that I, um, it's, it's so hard to like explain it, but I think that I tried to, um, assimilate I think and it wasn't something I like thought about like oh I need to start talking like you know this accent to fit in but for me I um I pick up accents so if I'm in a room full of Sri Lankan people I'm going to start sounding like a Sri Lankan person if I'm in a room full of Australian people I'll start 
like incorporating that accent. I don't do it on purpose. I don't necessarily think it's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all I can think of. I mean, if there's like a scientific explanation, I'd be happy to hear it, but that's what I kind of do. And it's so funny because my husband, who is South African, has a very British sounding accent. And he, I, I don't know how you can keep an accent when you're surrounded by people that have a completely different accent from you. Um, so yeah, I don't know why it's different, but yeah, different people, I guess. But Rail's like determined to keep his accent. Like he is very proud of the way he sounds. And for me, it was like, I didn't even think about it. I don't know. <laughs> Has anyone tried the new Buxom? I think they're, yes, they look so good, Melissa, but I'm so scared that they're not going to be dark enough for me. I don't think that's going to be a problem, but I just, hello. Um, oh, you sold me on M Cosmetic. I should have discovered your channel. You know, Banshee Muse, who is amazing for M Cosmetics, is um, Amy Loves Makeup. She like loves them. Emmy, is it Emmy Cosmetics? Sorry, I might be saying it wrong. She loves their stuff. I just got their flower palette. Um, I've worn it once. I wasn't like obsessed with it, so I haven't picked it up again, but I definitely want to film with it so you guys can see it um, on YouTube as well. I don't know how I feel about the bronzer, honestly. Yeah. Um, did you get it? And if is that why you're not sure? Which makes sense. <laughs> yes. See, we were, we were on top of that thing. No. What? No, how did that happen? But you can email them. They're pretty they're pretty good. Um, I would email saying, please cancel and um, see if you can get the one you wanted. Because that sucks. Mm. I don't think I've done a video. on. <laughs> she said M, M-E, E-M-M-E, -E, the Canadian indie brand. I do the same thing, Karen. I speak Spanish and I pick up accents. Okay, good, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered one of the Visca bronzers. Ooh, I, I don't think I've heard of that brand. Um, I did see Kaleido, uh, not Kaleido, what am I saying? Kosas, I posted um, on my stories that they have a spring event or summer event coming up. So we're speculating, um, we're speculating that it's gonna be a sale. Okay. Yeah, but the here the thing is like that makes sense to me, Angie. The only thing is there's so many people that have moved to the US that are younger than me that still have an accent. So I'm but I also so I think it's it's age, it's who you're um surrounded by cuz I'm not really around a lot of um Sri Lankan people that are like um Sinhalese speaking. Um, so I think, yeah, it does also depend on who you're surrounded by, because I think if I had moved here with my entire family, maybe it would have been easier for me to keep my accent, my Sri Lankan accent. Um, but then Rail always says that when I'm talking to my mom or when I'm talking to somebody from back home, I switch accents. And then also in, in Sinhalese, we speak like English and Sinhalese, like melted together. It's hilarious. Like if you ever hear like me. <laughs> It, it's like what are you saying <laughs> anyways okay okay m cosmetics is different from me cosmetics just so everybody knows there's a em cosmetics which is michelle fawn's makeup line and then there's em M E cosmetics which is a canadian indie brand okay everybody, everybody on the but you didn't move yes yep exactly <laughs> I moved from my region at 16. See, we got all kinds of stuff. Ruthie, get on it. Angie's amazing, you guys. I'm such a stan of Angie. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> yes, Amy and Angie. Okay, I haven't swatched a damn thing. You guys are the worst. <laughs> okay, let's touch it. Okay, so this is the one. I really like this. I don't ask me to pick a favorite because it's really, really hard. Um, but like this chartreuse color is like bay. Um, she with the first three palettes, she kind of annoyed everyone because the black shade and I think the brown. Some of these shades are like reoccurring in the first three palettes, so that was kind of criminal. 
um, because they were so expensive and you had to like, you got the same shade over and over again, which is a pain in the butt, but explains why pe some people, yep. Mm -hmm. So true. I, I do feel like that sometimes I feel like, yeah, a chameleon, uh, when it comes to accents. So let us watch. These things are still like pigmented as if, <laughs> um, so here are those swatches. I don't know the names of these. We can look them up if we really, really want to. Oh, this is so funny. That makes me so happy. I have a friend who makes amazing purple and pull us. I love it so much. No other curry could make me. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Maggie, where are you from? I'm so curious. Like what part of, if you're in the U.S., what part? Um, so here's. Um, these shadows from, I don't know what this is called. She didn't say, this is just one of the motherships. Um, but it's made in Italy. Uh, mine's definitely expired because I've had it for more than 18 months. I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me swatch these so you guys can see. So these are like her special shades, like the astral shades. And I like to use these with glitter glue just because um, then you can really pack them on and like this one too. So they're kind of a sheer base, but they have lots of colorful um, like duo and multi-chrome kind of pigments. Um, and I think Pat McGrath was really one of the first people that did that in the mainstream. And then she has these like metallics that are also... Um, this one's um like feels like a metallic like a foil shadow um with tons of beautiful like pigments and then i think it also has like a black base so it's really beautiful to like layer stuff with but this chartreuse color is like my fave because i think at the time it's just like oh there we go pete's thank you i should write that down on the palette this is a subversive palette <laughs> Maggie, my mom's commenting on you. Uh, Maggie, wow, I'm glad to hear you love Party Point Polo. So you can visit Karen where <laughs> when I'm there. So I can. My mom's just inviting everyone to come to. <laughs> that was awesome. Bulgarian, and I look, live in the UK. Yeah, there's a lot of um, Sri Lankans in the UK. Okay, so here we go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to swatch the mats, to be honest, guys. I don't know that you guys need to see matte eyeshadows from pat mcgrath like is that something that's important to you guys <laughs> i know the mats got a little more exciting in her other palettes um i'm gonna swatch this beautiful like berry shade angie what's your favorite shade in this palette do you have one i don't i don't know i guess i'm curious um my friends who came uh who is also my co-worker in america but picked up a british accent living in london yeah it blew my mind yeah it's it happens. So there's this, oh, wow. That is such a pretty burgundy color, like burgundy purple. Oh, so pretty. And then there's like a beautiful black and gray, like chunky, oh, shimmery thing. Skip the mess. Look at, it's so pretty. I don't know that I would necessarily use a color like this, but you never know, you know? And um, they're beautiful. So yeah, these ones I definitely pack on on top of a glitter glue just so I can get that shade to pop. And I'm also using my webcam on my Mac. So note that the quality is not gonna be as good. <laughs> I'm boring one who lives for a great. <laughs> Uh, I really do like the subversive. It's great quality, but I will say the special shades are not that special if you have a lot of indie singles. That is so true. Um, yeah. My accent gets stronger when I'm around anyone Caribbean or when I'm mad. <laughs> I do have a code switch for people to understand me here in the States. Yeah. <laughs> so true. I think the blue purple duochrome is beautiful. Yeah. I'm guessing she's talking about this one. So, so that's subversive. I know what I should do. I should get one of those um, Sharpies that are like gold and I should write on here and see. Maybe my mom can do that for me because she has much nicer handwriting than I do. Okay, I'm gonna put that one down. 
let's go and look for okay this one this one i think i've seen a lot of people pick this one up because it's very neutrally still and then this green shade i don't know it's so beautiful um I have the pat palette too, but have used it like once. It makes me sick thinking about it. I need to use it more. Yes, I understand that feeling for sure. That's why I said I was watching Kiki Sweat yesterday, and I'm like, I need to play with my Pat McGrath palette so I can be as good about talking about them as um, Alicia is, because it's just very interesting to hear her talk about the different textures, and uh, it's important to me. I don't know. I just think it's fun. So look at how beautiful and textured that gold is. Um, let's watch it here on my hairy arm. It's like very flecky. So if you are like just starting off with makeup, that might freak you out. But again, if you pack it on, on top of a glitter glue, you will be fine. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a really a good bronzer, I personally think. So these are beautiful. This shade is stunning. Do you guys see it? It's like a green with a pink flip. Sublime, yes. <laughs> Pete, thank you for the assist. I am really appreciative. <laughs> hey, hey Nate. Oh my gosh, look at these two legends. So cool. Thank you guys for coming out to the live. Um, if you guys don't follow Legally Black Beauty, you must go and find her on Instagram. She is so good with her swatches. Um, she makes a lot of like um, interesting insights and perspectives to things that may not cross everyone's minds all the time, but it's it's very interesting to hear somebody else's perspective. So um, I love knowing her. Instagram is just a really good Instagram account that you guys should 100% check out. Uh, that pink gold. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I tend to drift to my nude or gold palettes because the formula is more foolproof. Of pad yeah, pads pigmentation is crazy. It's bedtime for mom. <laughs> Mother, you are so funny. Have a good night. I love you. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Okay. So the green, this one, if you guys know anything about Asian culture and like saris, um, so they're like these big fabric draping situations. And when I was a kid, my mom had a sari this color. And it just always reminds me of my mom because it was like the most beautiful green, uh, black and shade. Um, and it had like a gold border and she'd wear it with like a black jacket. And it was like, very much reminds me of my mother. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So there's that color. It's, it's honestly, um, like much more dimensional than it's watching. Do you see that? It has like that purple, it has that green, um, and then it has like a black base. So it's, it's not a multi-chrome. I think this is a dual chrome, but it's so pretty. Okay, and then that like flaky shade in this palette is like a pearl with a pink. Alicia is so much better at this than I am, but you know what? I'm going to I'm going to learn. <laughs> I'm going to try and get better. Um, here's the shade. So so pretty. It's definitely like a pearl like that to me, like uh, as like a highlighter is a terrifying color, but I know some people love like a pink highlighter shade and that's kind of what it is, it's like a pearly pink highlighter shade. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, people are saying bye to my mom. Lily, yes, yes, she's so good. Hey, Audra, love you too. <laughs> Oh, good night, mom. <laughs> My contacts aren't in yet, so I can't read the comments too well. Oh, funny virtual hug. Can't you tell us, Karen, if you could switch a shade out in every palette? <laughs> yeah, I would honestly, if I could just eject these blacks out of here, like it sucks because if you buy all of them, it has that reoccurring black and it's like, I don't, I know some people love black eyeshadow, but it's just not something I reach for all the time. Um, 
I have this palette and I really love it. I get so many, yeah, it's just so unique, I think, in its own way. <laughs> Um, I feel like, hi, Tans Beauty. I feel like I'm cheating by saying the black, but honestly, the blacks and like, um, because there's just so, so many black shadows. <laughs> anyway, um, so here's two of like the satin, satins, I would say. Um, so they have a sheen to them. I don't really like these colors. Like they're not colors I would die for. I basically bought this palette for the four shadows in here and the reason when i originally got these palettes i got all three of them together is because i couldn't decide i'm such a sucker when it comes to like narrowing things down it's like no i can't do it i don't know how <laughs> so i feel like we swatched those enough so i'm gonna move on to the third um this is the cool tone one what is this one so it's subversive sublime and subliminal i think is that what they're they have all these names ah popped out girl will be <laughs> yeah i'm not trying to um depop these you guys holy smokes i like uh like in the subversity i love a matt berry yeah yeah that's so true a matt berry but she added like she started switching up the mats in the new palette so that's really nice and um Maybe she'll give us an all matte palette. Like, who knows, you know? Who knows? <laughs> she gave us an all shimmer palette, so. Someone with all the paper, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but how many black shadows were the same? Exactly. I, yeah. What about taking? Yes, that would be amazing. See, I like, I love those ideas. I know there was a trend like a bit ago where everyone was remaking their Natasha Denona palettes because those pop out. But like, what if I break an eyeshadow? I like have a like heart attack. Okay, that's a little dramatic. But like, Emily asked me if the new Kaleidos palette was magnetic. And if somebody's like a professional depotter, they'd probably know my dumb ass when with like i like actually popped one out and then i was like oh it's it's glued emily just so you know they're glued <laughs> so it's like there's got to be another way to tell but i had no idea how so i actually popped it out of the palette <laughs> i'm like oh well i can't and decide so i'm just like well look i'm gonna get them yeah thank you nate i'm so glad that you are a makeup savage just like me because people probably think i'm crazy Angelica is one of the people that always remind me that I can reach out of my palettes. Exactly. That is so true. Um, the other thing too is, yeah. Um, the other thing too is I think that like when I film for YouTube, I definitely just stick to the, the palette that I'm filming with. Um, and then this was it last week or this week, whatever on Monday or something, I posted my Wahala palette eyeshadow look and I put a topper on that was like a Terra Moon shadow because I just didn't like I'm like you know what I want my eye look to be like a smash hit and I put that one Terra Moon shade on and I said it in the video and people were like really chill about it and I was like this is cool because um I I can show more than one thing in a video and people aren't people weren't too upset about it because sometimes in the comments you're like like people, like when I did my 420 and I used like the Gemini palette in the eyeshadow look, people were like, oh, well, not people. I had like one comment where the person's like, it would have been really nice if you did the whole eye look with the 420 palette so we could see um, what it would look like. And I was like, oh, I understand. But I like, <laughs> I wanted to pull in the Gemini palette and it's the same brand. So like, I didn't think it was a big deal. So it's interesting what things people like and what they don't like you know what I mean I never seem to oh yeah but I think is the black black version still available like the black packaging I think is still available I'm not 100% sure I love those Natasha yeah Millie made some bomb five pan ones if she's still in the chat she she posted them they were beautiful the only thing in is Pat McGrath keeps putting goals in almost every palette and I love gold eyeshadows, but it's a bit much. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I hate when there is silver eyeshadows in palettes because I really don't like how silver eyeshadows look on my skin tone. So 
you just got to take it with like a grain of salt, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> North Dakota. Yeah. I keep thinking North Dakota. Natasha Denona. Oh my God. I started to reach into other things and I filled too. If I want it, I want it. Ha ha. I'm sure others have things at home they can reach for as well. As long as you, yeah. True that. Oh, thank you. I've been enjoying the fact that you incorporate your special singles. Every palette is not going to have. Yeah. And I don't know. I just felt like it needed it. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be back guys. It's going to be back soon and you'll get to watch. Oh, it'll come to Sephora. If you have a Sephora, it's coming to Sephora June 15th. I think you can sign up for the notification when it is um, in stock on Sephora. So do that. <gasps> Why are you asking to pick from my favorite children? I'll get to my favorite palette soon, <laughs> if that helps. I'm here. It was so much fun. Yeah, you did an amazing job. I was. It was not putting. Yeah, that's that's why I don't make like build your own palettes. <laughs> it's my only pomegranate, but I need dr two. I keep talking myself out of it because it's so expensive. I also really want Natasha Denona Metropolis. Listen. The Metropolis palette is not a joke, okay? It's so good. <laughs> I'll, that's all. Okay, so like this palette, literally these four shades, because like these colors, I'm not a cool tone gal. I wanna be, I wanna be accepting of every tone, but cool tones just scare the shit out of me because like, I don't know, I like my eyelids are so dark already. I like to add brightness to them, but you know what? I think I will work on, building up a love for cool tones like when i first started on youtube i didn't like color now i love color i still love my neutrals so i think it's only a matter of time before i fall in love with cool tones to be honest i don't know why but i always have to stick with one brand like i don't know why i can't mix brands also i feel like pat's golds are sufficiently different maybe that's me no i think that's a valid point um i've started mixing brands just because it's like i don't know a bomb eye look is key for my YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm doing my MU right now and I'm using the feathering technique um, you mentioned with foundation second time and I love it. Oh, interesting. I must go find that. Some pinky shades uh, from the cranberry to her gold palette. Ooh, that's a good idea. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. See, the Karens, the Karens can agree on some things, okay? <laughs> I saw that. It's so beautiful. I'll have to check it out. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Karen. I'm like, just like, now I read North Dakota, Minneapolis. Yeah. North Dakota, <laughs> Minneapolis. North Natasha Denona Metropolis. This one hates me. LOL. I'm getting out of hospital from my radiation treatment six week and will splurge. Um, sure. I think I need more singles. Hey, you do what makes you happy, girl. Um, and I'm so happy that you're, um, getting out of the hospital that I can't even imagine. I literally knock on wood, never really had to go to the hospital. So yeah, I, I can't even imagine. And we are thinking of you girl and sending you positive vibes always. Um, I have the Natasha Denona Metropolis. I bought it at a discount from a friend. I kind of wish I just saved for a full size pat mcgrath palette instead oh okay okay i bought the alter ego dupes for the gold palette and now i want the gold palette more than anything <laughs> all right i i love that look for you um i think here that's the thing it's like dupe palettes are great in their own way i think they're almost like a sample um do i think that you could live without the gold palette if you have the alter ego dupe yes does that mean that that's what you need to do? No. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Everyone sending Maggie positive vibes. That's awesome. Karen, skin tone. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, as a, for myself, cool tones just terrify me because of my skin tone. They just don't look as, I don't know. I, I know there's tan girls that can pull off cool tones, but just for me, it freaks me out. Okay, where are we going? Positive vibes. I just got... My last order from Cleonod with Bloodline and Royalty. And oh, yes. <gasps> so pretty. I need to use those palettes more. Um, 
I gave this a little hand my sister. I hate it on me too. Okay, let's watch it and move along because I think we've all agreed that. But the special shades are pretty, like even this gold, like it's so basic, but it's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Halo uh, by Give Me Glow. I saw Legally Black Beauty got her um, extra spicy palette from Give Me Glow. We were talking about it yesterday. And then she said it seemed like other people hadn't gotten tracking either. Um, so if any of you guys got the extra spicy palette, you have to let me know if you got it. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are all sending Maggie love. I don't like cool tones on my skin tone either. Uh, take care of yourself and best you can sending you lots of love. Yes. Oh, Maggie. Everyone is so sweet. I'm so happy you guys are all so supportive. Okay, so look at, I mean, that's a beautiful gold. Ah, I want to do an eyeshadow look right now with that gold. <laughs> this color is so pretty. These are those like burple, burple shades that like get us every time. See, that one's like almost swatching away, but it's so pretty. That with the glitter glue, this blue, this is like the green, but it's the blue version. Oh my God, look at that swatch. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> That is so pretty. Holy crap. I've never done such a long swatch, I don't think. <laughs> uh, oh, and if anybody's wondering what my tattoo says, it actually says Sri Lanka in my in Sri, in Sinhalese, in Sri Lankanese, in Sinhalese, um, which is our, here you can see it better there. So this is Sri Lanka. <laughs> In case any of you are wondering. <laughs> Check the look I did on my Instagram if you need. Ooh, fun. I will. Uh, did anyone else buy the Luxie? Uh, Luxie, I didn't. Uh, but <laughs> my nose is running. I don't know why. Um, I did buy from Davina. Don't come for me. <laughs> but I bought the Galaxy Exploders and the... I bought the new collection, the candy cakes, which I had said I wasn't going to buy. Um, but I like Davina's special shades. But the mistake I made with Davina when I originally started shopping from them is I bought a lot of her mattes. And I love matte eyeshadow. But to me, it's like mattes can be like any brand. Really, I'm okay. But it's those like fun shades that really get me going. So I'm I'm really happy I bought them. Actually, they look beautiful. And of course, everybody used the codes. We got Angie's code and Amy's code. So, you know, help them out. Oh, yes. Home is like just so comforting when you have a home, you know. Woo, that gold. <laughs> I got my extra spicy yesterday and juicy olive. Yeah. Leah, tell me what you think. Have you swatched it yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, girl, this blue is for days. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a swatch like this. Do you guys think I should just go like get it tattooed? <laughs> Kieran, oh, you're trying to be a zebra. <laughs> One swatch for 10 eyes. <laughs> the blue just made my heart skip a beat. That's so cute. But y'all, I played with Juvia's Warrior the other day, and the beauty is in the in those goals on the lids. I can I can't believe I forgot. Oh. Hi, Heather. Uh, Angela, the look you just posted on Insta, wow. Is it, Angie's looks like, oh, she's so good at eyeshadow. I genuinely one day, like, <laughs> if I had like a wish, it would be to do a collab in person with Angie and like, she would just do my makeup. Like, <laughs> I just want like Angie to beat my shade, like beat my face with eyeshadow because her eyeshadow, it, like, if you think it's beautiful on YouTube, you should see it in person. Like, oh, she's so good. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> I ordered a stereo and uh is that Pepper God? Sorry. <laughs> oh no, Davina. Sorry. I got Luxie got me yesterday. Yes, good for you. Legally Black Beauty. I cannot wait to see your swatches. Um, I have the three newest Divina collections and they are so good. And yes, Karen, the mats are uh, what I first tried, but the sparkly one, exactly. Um, like if you need basic mats, like cool, 
but their fun shades are the best. <laughs> I love a, tat a swatch tattoo. <laughs> yeah, let, let's see if we can make that happen. Beautiful, just what you'd expect. Oh, cool. We should get matching tattoos. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Um, I just, I can't believe like people get Teresa's uncooked chicken tattooed. Like that's freaking cool. Maybe I should do like a rotisserie chicken, <laughs> but that, yeah, I feel like ultimate fan, fan, like when you get a Teresa's dead chicken tattoo, <laughs> the chicken's not dead. Teresa is dead is the name of her channel. <laughs> I want to know what you think about the extra spicy. I feel like their formula has improved. Yes, so improved. I think so. From the two original palettes I own from them to the newer ones, I 100% think there's a difference. I actually bought the Summer Vibes just so I could compare it to the old one because I'm so curious. Of course, I'll do your makeup. We'll do it. The yes! <laughs> I just want Angie to do my makeup so I can... <laughs> so I can reach Nirvana in <laughs> in makeup heaven. <laughs> can you imagine having to choose which shade? <laughs> which shade? Oh yeah. <laughs> I want Davina to bring Angie's palette back. I'm so mad that I missed it. It looks so beautiful. Every time she pulls it out, I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> uh, undertones are so special. So yeah, totally. Yeah, rotisserie chicken. Damn right. <laughs> baked chicken <laughs> the chicken isn't dead Teresa is <laughs> no Teresa is alive her channel is Teresa is dead I'm fully cooked bird chicken get it <laughs> we should have the 50 shades of chicken <laughs> okay see it looks so oh so pretty so pretty so those are the special I was literally holding that one swatch in my finger this whole time while we were talking about chickens yeah desi perkins has her chickens there's so many chickens all over the place so many just let's like pitch it to glam light like glam light can we get the chicken palette <laughs> it could be like a nude palette called the chickens like you could have uh baked chicken boiled chicken curry chicken <laughs> Ooh, curry chicken i like that um hot hot chicken or what's that what do they call it in in Nashville, is it called Nashville Hot? Okay, I'm cleaning off the swatches so we can get a. Okay, we still have a bunch of palettes. Okay, here's four. <laughs> I love this. I'm uncooked. I'm extra spicy. Oh, extra spicy swatches are gorgeous. <sighs> Karen and the Happy Dance. You know it. <laughs> okay, number four. This is like the one that everybody lost their freaking mind over. This is a Decadence. Um, Star Wars themed version came out. And um, I've had this one for um, from when it originally launched. And I must say, I don't use it enough. These are such beautiful metallics. <sighs> it's just, listen, you guys are going to die. I just actually swatched this very recently because I did a video trying to help people, <laughs> trying to help people. Here I am saving the world one eyeshadow palette at a time. Um, kind of just like saying, hey, if you want it, here's the swatches. If you don't want it, that's okay too. It's just eyeshadow, like don't like, you know, go to debt trying to buy eyeshadow. So there's the gold. <gasps> oh, these are those ones that just will swatch for days. Let's do it again. Wee! <laughs> Okay, ooh, so pretty. So, so pretty. That one, my thumb did not do it justice, but it's a beautiful color. It's like a navy. Look at that gold. <laughs> Cajun chicken sounds better. The convo has gone <laughs> left with the chickens. <laughs> Are you just asking for... Uh, all brown palette. <laughs> I know, but it's not chicken themed. <laughs> we need it to be chicken themed. <laughs> when you pull the chicken out because you forgot to season it after 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, I have the decadence, but in the Star Wars, it oh, Nate. Listen, life is too short. Use that eyeshadow palette. 
Hmm. Karen, do you have the little palettes from Pat McGrath in the plastic packaging? I do. I only have two of them. One is currently on loan uh, <laughs> to somebody. Oh God, did you guys see the silver? Holy moly. Um, so I don't have the blue one, which I think is the best one of the three, but we can swatch those two. This color, this came back for the holiday palette of 2018, I believe. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, it's a duochrome, like red to orange to yellowy deliciousness. And like, even this freaking taupe looks amazing. This palette is beautiful. The other thing I love is she did that like $28 palette um, that has some of the like the most requested shades from the decadence so you don't need to spend a hundred oh you don't need to spend a hundred and twenty nine dollars to get these eyeshadows you can just get that the, the other palettes look at this blue look at that oh my goodness okay where was i okay the taupe this is so fun <laughs> living my corruption there we go um i both <laughs> savage and a fool maybe i'll use yes do it do it do it that's corruption she says i think pat needs to start having empty palettes and sing oh yes she does have the singles but they're like hella expensive i believe decadence is coming back it says summer 2020 cool that's awesome <laughs> Okay, are you ready? This is the cool, cool color, I think. Okay, that one didn't swatch us. Like, it's so pretty. I don't think my camera is going to pick it up. But it's like a, it's like a phoenix. Like, if they named the shade phoenix, that would have been appropriate, I think. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go nice hanging. Oh, bye. Thanks for coming. So sweet. Have a lovely Saturday, whatever you're up to. Okay, so the taupey shade, maybe not as exciting for everyone, but oh, that red and that blue and that gold, this gold, so pretty, so pretty. Hmm, I just had an idea. We should do a collab, like with all the, the Pat McGrath's like subscribers. I think that'd be fun. You guys want to do like an eyeshadow look with me? We could all use our Pat McGrath palettes and like post it at the same time or so. What is happening? <laughs> if you guys have, um, if you guys want to do that, we should create a, like a Pat McGrath, like a group collab, but with subscribers and friends. <gasps> Here's the queen. Cat's here. <laughs> this girl, let me tell you, she is the reason that I bought those first three Pat McGrath palettes. I still remember like us texting about it and she's like, are you gonna buy these new palettes? And I'm like, I don't know, I've never even heard of this lady. She's like, I don't know, we should get them. And I was like, fine. And she buys like every Pat McGrath release. I would love, Kat, you should do a Pat McGrath like collection video. I think that would be so fun to see. So she's like my Pat McGrath guru. Um, like those new glosses that she released, those like textured glosses. Um, I was talking to Kat and Kat's like, mm, don't get them. They're not that good. And I was like, thank you. Cause I was about to at least try one. Cause I love her other glosses. Yeah. Yeah. People definitely use the shimmers in their creases. Decadence was my first mothership when it came out. I wish I could afford a backup girl. <laughs> Nicole, <laughs> when I mean, has anybody actually ever panned a Pat McGrath palette? I've never I've done any investigating on it. So if you guys know somebody, let me know because I'd love to check them out. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> You're so sweet with friends like these. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting to. I really do like Decadence. I would say. Decadence is top three of my Pat McGrath palettes. This one is, I think, number one. I know it's basic, but listen, um, after all those reoccurring blacks, when she finally changed up the mattes, I was like, thank you. Thank you. We get Divine Rose 2. We're going to take a picture of our first look we do. Oh, that's such a good idea. Nice. 
Can't wait to see it. Mini said of the I prefer a regular lust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She said they were very glittery. Turns out I did need it. <laughs> I had a project. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fun fun fact. So I think Kat, me, uh, Melissa, Mariam, there were a few other people. We actually created this group and we were gonna do like a pan project and it just <laughs> we I think all of us really um fell off on the whole situation. <laughs> Yes, I don't blame you, girl. That is a beautiful palette. Okay, so this is um, Bronze Seduction. This is Mothership 5. Um, I think this one's my favorite Pomegranate palette. If I had to rank them, this would be number one for me. Uh, yeah, we should figure something out. Somebody, you guys are so creative. I'm sure that we could figure something out. So there's, I love this mat. <laughs> This mat is so beautiful. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Will you do one, Kat? After all these years? That'd be, I'd be curious. I thought you were a part of it, but nobody panned anything. <laughs> yeah, Miriam is also a really good resource. This is like my favorite mat, I think, from Pat McGrath. Um, it's just so beautiful. And it's just like this... It's like a burgundy, it's like a purple, it's a brown, it's like so many different colors. Here's like kind of a neutrally, another taupey metallic in here, and then this gold. These are very like textured and beautiful. Um, and then I love this brown too. I just love how like, I don't know, grungy and beautiful those two mats are. So let's just swatch the mats down here. Just because I want to swatch the special shades up higher. <laughs> Look at that bronze color, that's so pretty. So I really like those two mats. They don't swatch the greatest, but they are so pretty to blend. I really like how blendable her mats are. Um, oh, that's so cool, Kat did pan a few shadows. I've been so down, is there a PM? <laughs> oh, I'd be so down. Yes, we should figure something out. We're gonna figure it out. I bought my first full Pat McGrath palette with the Divine Rose too. I missed out. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I think, you know what, the packaging, it's, <laughs> I was like, who are we blessing? <laughs> okay, here we go. So these are the two like flaky kind of shades and definitely glitter glue is necessity. Um, ooh, I also linked my Pat McGrath playlist in the description box of this video. So if you guys are in the mood, you should check it out these are so like beautiful they're so textured um but you can make these work really well with a glitter glue so this one is beautiful it's like a pinky green and this one's more of a golden yellowy shade that my freaking lights are totally wrecking i don't know why i have a little scratch on my arm but i'm guessing a cat did that can you see them lights are so bright there they are you can kind of see them right there oh and on my fingers too you can see the shades <laughs> oh my goodness okay and then there's a beautiful rose gold and this red of course also i think the red could definitely be duped with kaleidos their red shade in their five pan palette it's right there. I can't grab it right now, though. But a good red eyeshadow, like, really, you know, gets you in the mood. And this rose gold. Oh, so pretty. So I pretty much swatched all of the shades in uh, Bronze Seduction, which, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my favorite. It's kind of neutral, but it's still kind of sassy. Like, look at my fingers. Um, like my, my favorite one. I think if I was going to tell somebody to buy one, that would be the one I would tell them to buy. I got the mini Opalus glosses so that I have them when my fantasy self makes an appearance. They're much more comfortable than other glitter glosses, but I'm good with the minis. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I was thinking about the minis and then I was like, you know what, Karen? You're never going to use them, so just stop. I have every Pat McGrath palette, but the first three, I even have all the minis. That's cool. 
I, um, yeah, I have all the big ones. I don't have all the minis. So here is my second favorite um, of my Pat McGrath palettes. This is Midnight Sun. This is one that I have eyeshadow all over me. Uh, this is one that I didn't think I liked. And then I think, who was it? Somebody was like, no, no, try it some more and you will. And they were totally right. They were totally, totally right. <laughs> Yeah, bronze seduction spread, but, uh, my, but not my favorite. Yes, the red and the color is, is spectacular. I came close to getting those minis, but bailed because I have so many glasses. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite? Yeah, Pete's. I'm curious. Everyone's <laughs> asking which one is your favorite, Pete's. So this one is, it kind of, again, I'm so happy she switched up the mats because this freaking camel color is gorgeous. So as Brick Clark would say, it's Gorgina. <laughs> <laughs> and even like a nice chocolate brown like this like come on pat come on these mattes i love honestly in this palette if i could kick out a shade it's gonna be this like boring shimmer color only because i feel like it's in the other ones too i hate it when i brush i like start, start getting just one or two random hairs to get. Ah. midnight sun is my favorite at first, I thought it was blob. Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it was Pete's. Oh, oh, sorry. This is Terry. I was thinking of uh, Pete's. Been nice. Yeah, same. That's exactly what I feel too. These mats are spectacularly beautiful. You guys know how much I love like a a warm brown shade in my crease. So these three colors, <sighs> perfection. This is like an everyday palette for me. I, I know everyone says Divine Rose One is there favorite everyday palette but for me it's definitely um like this one and bronze seduction okay and then let's swatch so there's this taupey color again beautiful this green is so pretty and then let's swatch the two flaky shades see this gold i think it looks like the gold in that cool tone palette so there are some similarities. I'm not going to say they're all like hella unique, but maybe Pat McGrath didn't mean for everyone to buy every single palette, you know? Look at that. This is giving me Artist Couture Supreme Nudes vibes right here. Um, so here's the gold. That one didn't swatch as impactfully as I was thinking. That's okay. And then here's the flaky. This is like a champagne -y. like it's wild like it gets everywhere but again if you use a glitter glue you'll be fine uh, but i think my fave i think is the first one so it's a tie between i kind of can look <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, what's your favorite look with the, what's your favorite look with the midnight sun honestly these three mattes and any of those shimmers i think is like perfection for me because I love like a neutral crease with a beautiful neutral shade I don't like to do neutral creases with a colorful shimmer I feel like a lot of palettes are set up for that but what I love about this palette is all the shimmers pair pretty well with the matte I don't know about that purpley shade I haven't swatched it yet but everything else like really if you cover up this purple it's really a neutral palette like look at that like you know what I mean it's very much like a, gives me like um, African safari color palette. And then there's this like, what? <laughs> what is that shade? <laughs> Which one is your favorite? She's got them all too. I'm curious to know. I do feel lucky. That is so true. I'm definitely blessed to have the makeup collection I have. Nabla Dreamy. I do have the Nabla Dreamy too. I don't love the Nabla Dreamy too as much as I love this one. Um, my faves are Bronze Seduction, Subversive. I think DR. Yeah, me too. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that it's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's watch this beautiful purple and a beautiful rose gold. Mm. Okie dokie. So pretty. Like. So pretty. So yeah, to answer your question on what my favorite eye look with this palette would be, it's one of the, like, I would do either this neutral 
or this. So one or the other, you could do both, but I, I think you could just do one. And then this on the crease and honestly like this green or this gold or this color, like all of these as a lid shade, like you guys know my eyeshadow looks are very simple, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Terry, that's that. I will have to try that. I don't know off the top of my head if I have, like I said, I was nervous to rank these because um, I haven't played with them in quite some time. So, oh my God, this looks so disgusting. <laughs> can you imagine people like digging through my trash can going like, what does this girl do with, why are there so many makeup wipes with like, butt? <laughs> like it looks like butt stains. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. If I get eyeshadow on this bracelet, I'm going to be sad. Um, okay, my favorite is the Divine Rose. That's the one. Is that the one we have left? I believe so, because we've swatched all the motherships. So good to know. I have Midnight Sun and Divine Rose, and people keep talking about Brown Seduction, but I'm not sure what the pull is. Yeah, I mean, get your favorite, you know. Supersa looks beautiful. That one definitely has my attention. Midnight Sun, I don't know, man. My fav shade is in there. I do not like the purple and the green is okay. Yeah. See, everyone has their own taste and that's okay. <laughs> okay. So we're on to the last one. Here she is. This is Divine Rose one. This is, this is not very high on my list of favorites. I don't know why, but I just think it's so meh. And then, okay, like let's cover up these shades. Like, ooh, this palette is really quite but people love this like for some people this is like their favorite pot mcgrath palette because of the the neutrality and the ease so you know it's okay Oof, that flaky color is beautiful this pearl really kind of like clung on to my skin my hands look like a mess so here's the special shades like that little quad so let's swatch that oh that pretty color Whew, that's pretty. I mean, I know, I know like Luxie and Davina have done like a thousand singles like that with the pink, pink gold shift. That's the flaky color. And then that's the opalescent, like pinky, whitey pearl color. I think we saw that in, was it the cool tone? One of the palettes, I think the green palette we saw that in. And um, I think it's also in her highlighting palette. Oh my gosh, she's so light. Yeah, she's light. And then let me, okay, so here's the little quad. I'm going to swatch that next to those pinky shades because I think people were, ooh, that's pretty. Holy crap. This one is really not one of my favorites at all. I really didn't like these quads. I swear to God, I remember she said that these were going to be Pat McGrath exclusives, like this particular one, and then it was on Sephora, so I was very confused why I thought that they were Pat McGrath exclusives, but oh, maybe I need to stop being mad at this palette and whip it out. Oh, this pink shade is so pretty. It's like a dark berry pink. I don't even know how to describe that, but I love the Midnight Sun. Didn't have a black. Like, <laughs> yeah, purple is amazing. That's what I got yesterday in the pink packaging. Better for my pasty skin tone, I think. Yeah, I think it's a great worker palette. Thanks for that. I'm such uh, I'm such a fine, a beautiful chocolate brown. Oh, yeah, I love a good chocolatey brown. I think Divine Rose appeals to people who love mauves. Yeah, perhaps. I own all the Pat McGrath palettes, but can't bring myself to get the Divine Rose ones. I find them so boring. I nearly bought them yesterday just to collect. Yeah, good for you. You know, Angie, you gotta follow your heart. It's because when um, we seem to be trending towards cool neutral, why Divine Rose one attracts too many warm options, not enough cool at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. Audra, I know what you meant. I hope I like Divine Rose. Rose. I have been holding off the pink packaging. <laughs> Girl do you <laughs> do what makes you happy it drives me crazy a good dark brown matte is not easy to find yes i i'm sure that is the case i love the quads i really okay so i really need to like clearly i haven't paid enough attention 
to that little quad because swatching that again really like blew my mind. So I need to pay close attention. And I really want the neutral one. <laughs> I really want the neutral quad, but I didn't end up uh, picking it up because I I don't need more neutral eyeshadows. So uh, <laughs> for the quads, yeah, I really was, I was sleeping on the quads. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so shame on me. Uh, did I swatch? Okay. And then do you guys, I don't really want to swatch these. So, uh, that is mothership seven and I am so excited for eight, um, because it reminds me of like a Pat McGrath version of who does Des desert dusk palette. And so I'm very, very, very excited to see it in person. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I also have these. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Slowly. So here's all her six pans that I have. I don't have the originals. I wasn't as jazzed about them, to be honest. This one, they had a killer sale on. I think this would be great for people that want to try Pat McGrath. They don't want to try anything too, like, crazy. They're feeling a little conservative. Um, but they also want to have some kind of you know, fun, um, like palettes in their life. I think yes to this one. It's a great way to get your friends to try Pat McGrath. I think I don't want to swatch it because I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. So true. That's, that's so true, which is why I was so mad about buying the pink one. I think is like the price, um, makes a pretty smoky eye. Very cool. Good to know. Um, Star Wars, got, oh, good night, Angie. Can't wait to see your video tomorrow because I literally, every Sunday morning, that's the first video I watch <laughs> is Angie's new makeup releases <laughs> video. <sighs> okay, so here is the Star Wars palettes. I mean, if you like purples, bitch, bitch. <laughs> now I sound like Bretman Rocks. Oh my God. Oh, look at that purple and look at this purple. And these are, oh, what was that? Have I forgotten? This is like a, oh my God. It's got like a green. Do you guys see that? Ho, 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 ho. I have been sleeping on Pat McGrath shadows. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. You guys, the way I'm looking at it right now, it looks red. The shade looks black and the shade looks red. And on the camera, it's purple and pink. Stunning. And then just like even shades like this, like for me, oh, it's a duochrome. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, I hope she brings these back. More people need to get be able to buy these. Star Wars fans, non-Star Wars fans, Pat McGrath fans, like ceiling fans. Yes, they're gold, but they're beautiful. so pretty. I just watched the whole quad because I think it's so stunning. <laughs> I guess I wonder if you would reach for one more than the other. Um, on which one? Sorry. The formula in Golden Opulence is just easy and straight. Yes, totally agreed. Yeah. I would be too. Holy shit, this is pretty. Okay, my gosh. <laughs> Looks like I fucked a fairy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if that's offensive. Okay, here's um, the other Star Wars. This one is not really like my vibes, but these shadows are still like really gorgeous. And there's one matte in here. Look at these duochromes. Listen, Pat McGrath, she's not like, she's not just like chilling. She like puts in the work. Look at these colors. Like, are you kidding? I really have always wanted to swatch on my palm. Oh, do you guys see that? Oh my God. I can't. <laughs> oh. They're so pretty. Wow. This color is stunning. You guys don't even see the duochrome. I can't even handle it. I got the Dark Galaxy. I think it's my first favorite pad palette. 
Hmm. Yes, this one is my jam. These are gorgeous. My palette in the gold packaging. Yes, shade was everywhere. I was able to clean it up. Oh, did they not send you a replacement? Uh, Pete's, did they not send you a replacement? I'm curious. Okay, I don't know if they still sell these. Uh, this is the one that was the all shimmer palette um, from Holiday. And this one has, I think, some shades from Decadence, which people went crazy about. Um, this one is not my favorite, so I'm not going to swatch it. Plus, I just swatched the Decadence. Now, this guy, the blue one. Oh, my goodness. This has some beautiful shades. This gray, like, this is not a color I would wear, honestly. But I'm so happy it's in here because it's so different for me. Um, so it's always nice to have options. It's like a pretty gray. I don't know. It kind of swatch funky, but it's a beautiful color. It's very different. And then my favorite shade, of course, is the purple. <laughs> Auntie Pat does purples so well. Nobody's complaining about all the purples in her palettes, that's for sure. Look at that color. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I can't stand it. I hope she brings these back, maybe in different packaging. Karen, I um, if you like colorful, go with non-culture quad. If you like neutrals, go with raw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have the non-culture. Is that how you say it? I don't remember. The blue, like the little blue quad from Christmas. I loaned it to a friend who is going to play with it, so I don't have it on me. Oh, oh okay. Well, I'm glad you got a refund. Sorry that your palette came broken. That's so sucky. Hate it when that happens. But yeah, you guys see that? Stunning. This palette, whew, so good. And then this one. This palette reminds me of Christmas Morning by Give Me Glow. Yes, it looks like a basic palette, but just wait. Let me swatch for you this beautiful color, which she bought back in... What? Oh, no, this is the pal This is the shade she bought back from Decadence in this palette. And this green is like a solid, beautiful, very Christmassy feeling color. But this corruption, I think. Look at that duo cor Oh! Okay, <laughs> so pretty. The green is not swatching as well, but I didn't grab a big ass swatch of it, so that's why. So there's those two, or those three. And I do have her little ones that I just bought, but I forgot to grab them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video because you guys really seem to like this idea. I wanna keep doing like uh, makeup I bought on sale as a series, because I think everyone loves a good deal. I love a good deal, so I'm gonna use the um, those little plasticky lab sample looking Pat McGrath palettes in an upcoming um, makeup I bought on sale video and maybe do some eyeshadow looks because I know a lot of you bought those palettes because I posted about the flash sale so you were able to get them for like what, 15, 13, I don't even remember remember because they were like $17 and then people found codes for 20% off. so. I'm very, very excited to play with those and see what they are about. <laughs> um, but it's lunchtime here, folks. I am getting hungry, so I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me on this live. If you guys have any final thoughts, speak now or forever hold your peace because I'm about to peace out of here. Um, but, oh. My nose is running. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I am going to be trying to get back to my usual schedule, which is every other day on even days is when I upload. So I think I'm going to count this as a video for Saturday, and then I will be back on the 2nd of June with a video. So I think I'm going to hope for that to be my Kaleidos video um, and do an eye look and kind of a review for you guys but yeah that's it from me looks like you guys are all good in the comment section so I will see you guys in my video on Monday I don't even know what day of the week it is and yeah I hope you guys are all safe please 
pray for the world if you are, you know, into that. Send out positive vibes. Be kind to your neighbors and friends and families and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.